everybody to Shadow of the Comets. We've um, painstakingly walked, gone through the entire game to the point where um, I will apologize by um, accidentally saving over our file where we're trying to run away from all the mad people in the town. But in case you're, you're um, wondering what happened, Jug's dead and may he rest in peace. And now we have the Necronomicon in our possession and people really want to get it back. So let's not do that. Hang on, correct me if I'm wrong, but the very, very, very last thing, and he emphasised this, that he said was, the Necronomicon shouldn't leave that room. That's a ooh, good point. I don't, I don't believe I... Did he not state no, that... No, you're right, yeah. Did he not state that, like, explicitly, don't let the <laughs> book out of the room? Okay, all right, no, you're quite right. I'll put it back in its there you go. There's the one thing I forgot to do before I, <laughs> I started recording, so thanks for reminding me. That, that probably could have ended badly. There's no problem. Okay, I don't think it might. It probably wouldn't have let us get too far. I would hope. But probably not. I'm sure we would have gone like mad or something like that. But just, just indulge ourselves and save in our brand new, um, shiny and new uh, game save file. So, Delightful. let's do this. I need to find a way to get out of the town. Well, more so, more specifically, to get back to our lodgings without falling into the grasp of any of the townspeople. So. I'm trying to recall now which one, which um, one's failed. Now I think this now um, towards the red house failed because there was someone waiting for us there. Um, and go walking down was towards that abandoned building, which also didn't work. And going right also didn't work because that was towards the pub. Now I wonder if we can go up here. I'm one. I'm, I'm thinking we're going to need the gypsies for this. I don't. Oh, I, I can imagine we could. I'll just see that there. Oh. Okay. So right. far so good. So far so good. Yeah. Ah. Okay. That's our Jack Nicholson. Parker, have you just been at Jug's place? That's what I was talking about, by the way. That's the, that's the one guy that could catch you there. But not to worry. Not to worry. Anyway, for any of those who don't remember, uh, that conversation is totally unescapable. Yeah. And is a very, 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 very slow way of eventually telling you <laughs> game over. Yes. It You're will go through the dialogue every time. Yeah, it's a. I think it's a system that they call Dead Man Walking. Sierra did it a lot in their games, and because obviously you're quite in, you're not fond of uh, point of view adventures, I'm quite used to it. So I, I kind of have a, a good instinct for when we're dead. Is that the pharmacy up there? The pharmacy would be safe, right? Sure. I mean, there's only drugs. <laughs> there's only drugs. There's snap review at the pharmacy. Hey, it's the. Okay, we're safe, I think. Wait, uh... Yeah, we are. There we go. Okay, the pharmacy was the answer, kids, remember. Okay, pause, for, uh, stop for a second. Go for it. Now, the answer was clearly... No, uh, don't, don't pause, but just something Yeah. This. Naturally, the pharmacy is where the old woman had finally found her niece. <laughs> and naturally, she is the blockade of all things. Not just alcohol... But also but Cthulhu and all the evil people in the town. The c she is the ward against... Not only alcohol, but cultists and everything. <laughs> it's, a, it's always the same way. You cannot beat... It's like it's almost like the Irish Mammy principle. You can never beat the Irish Mammy. In the same way that you cannot beat the formidable Miss Picotte. Yeah. No, no. One that, day she'll be beaten in her, um, in her boxing rounds. Oh, no. She, she, she's going to be the thing that they're all geared... They've all trained their ears to look out for those footsteps <laughs> to be gone. Like she's the one. She's we're actually going to summon her at the end to uh, to banish uh, all the the Lovecraftian horrors. Yeah, I mean, like right. everyone has to be subtle about this shit until she's dead. Yes, and even then, we'll give it a year and date to make sure she's go. <laughs> she doesn't come out of the grave. Yes, there'll be the one time where the sixteen gun salute shoots the coffin to make sure she's dead. <laughs> anyway, let's read our message. You gonna put breaches in that thing? <laughs> Do you know where it is? The three colours. Yes. Now, 100 messages. Where have I seen a map of the region? And what are these three colours? 100 messages? Right. Do you know where it is? Okay. Um, I know we've seen a map of the region. I can't quite remember off the top of my head where. However... It, it, it is all the one place. It's a map of the region. It's where three colours are flying. That's a um, clue. 
and a hundred, where you find a hundred messages. Wait, did I say flying? Because that implies flag too, to way, way too easily. Yeah. But yeah, well, okay. it's, it's it's quite so it, it's probably the post office where yeah. you know, where hundred mis- messages where. Except you know, a hundred messages is a bit generous. I mean, it's a very small town, Paul. No, I didn't like it. That woman isn't gonna do four messages a day. <laughs> she is quite miserable. I admit. She oh, is oh, just who's this? not arsed. Hey, it's Jed, isn't it? We already had a point with you, Jed. We can't have another one. This, we're far too busy. I'd love to, but a bit later. I'm in something of a hurry. There we go. He's listening. Yeah. Besides, yeah, it's like we already had a point with you, so yeah, don't worry about that. Yeah. I wonder if uh, if we didn't have a point for him with him beforehand, maybe we uh, we wouldn't we would have got killed at that point. We have evidently warded off Jed for the moment. <laughs> yes, he is the alcoholic demon. That all you have to do is just keep feeding him rum, and he's uh, oh that's Mookie. Never mind. Um, it might be the case where you can say not me once. Yes. Say not me twice. I'll glass you. Aha. Three colors. There we go. So, and a whole eight messages. No, it's the wrong place. This is the uh, mayor's office. I think it's further down here. Could be. Yeah. No, that's no, the, no, that's okay. Joke's house. Wait, what's the red building there? What's, what's inside there? That's uh, the records office. That's where Joke works. That's. Um, tell you what, let, let's go back to the flag mm-hmm. and see if we can actually walk past the iron gaze of the of the counter. <laughs> the iron. Ga- yes. There's no. There's no stopping him either. He's. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, there we yeah, go. Yeah, that's where it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, post box, okay. okay. I knew it was somewhere around there, I just couldn't remember. There she is. To be fair, nothing was getting past the gaze of the counter clerk. There's, yeah, speaking of clerks, yeah. Good day, Miss Gilchrist. I was told there's a map of the region hanging up here, but I can't seem to... Ah, the map is gone. Hmm. Oh, well, David, and the house asked me for it, and I lent it to him. The poor man can't get around, you know. Such a cruel world. David Underhouse. Powerful name, that. Where Wouldn't it be ironic if he's living upstairs? Yeah, 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 totally. There, the door at the end. Interested in Indians, are you? <laughs> Mr. Underhouse is very keen. Um, he's been looking for that cemetery for months. <laughs> I, yes, I'm very keen on Indians that are above age. <clears throat> um, I beg your pardon. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think he bought the same reaction there. Is it? But what? The cemetery of some Indian tribe, the Muckamucks or something. Well, he found it, and my, is he happy! Now, why should a fine man like that take such an interest in savages? Ah, just like mm, you miss. Don't you miss racism in video games, Paul? Just pure, unadulterated okay. old woman racism. Uh, okay, just um before you click this. As for savagery, yeah. as for savagery. I think the Indians might have learned a thing or two from the 7th Cavalry. Oh, John T. Get in there. You tell that miss later how to <laughs> deal with it. Mr. Parker, my father often said, the only good Indians are gentlemen. <laughs> and he knew what he was talking about. Wow. Oh, no, excuse me. Some of us have work to do. This crossword is going to do itself. <laughs> <laughs> I am too, I'm frightfully busy ponti- um, getting angry at ethnics. Okay. Yes, you were I, saying. I was a bit worried there that the cemetery that is a mystery is the one I've been trying to get into every that, time we go near it. Where well, the gates are is a cemetery, but there is a secret cemetery. Ah, uh, yes, the the mass grave of that pit we've dumped all those natives into. <laughs> the, no, the, call, the, they're called the Muckamucks, Paul, okay? Please treat them with some respect. Oh, here's um, presumably Mr. Underhouse. He looks a lot like Jug. Who is indeed living upstairs. Oh, yeah, sure. I called that. Upstairs in Mr. a wheelchair. Mr. Underhouse lives upstairs. In upstairs in a wheelchair. <laughs> How long has he been up here? Does anyone come in to even to visit him? He might have. How do you get the map? Did he like yell down the staircase long enough that she eventually, <laughs> she, yeah. she, she eventually just, I don't know, just shifted off her chair with cracks as the <laughs> stalagmites crack to just rip the ancient map from the wall and take it to him. I like to think he has a really, really long pole. <laughs> he just prods Miss Gilchrist with it. Woman, woman, I require I require a bedpan. Although, okay, let's talk to him. Thank you for defending the Indians. Oh, hello, Commander Data. How are you doing? No, the walls don't have ears. 
They are nearly very thin. I believe you want to consult the map of this region. Please, go right ahead. He did actually get the map of it, what the fuck? Is he even in a wheelchair? Or is he just playing or is he just claiming benefits? I'm very grateful, Mr. Underhouse. And I'm terribly sorry that you've been stuck up here for 35 years. Although he may not be recently in a wheelchair, he might just happen to like today. So, Mr. Parker, why don't we discuss the nickname? Oh, you're, you're using so, you're using their real name. I'm afraid I didn't make myself very clear. It's precisely because I'm so ignorant about Indian culture that I'm here. Have you heard of Narakamus? Narakamus, the professional wrestler who burnt himself on the pier. Oh, what? <laughs> Indeed. He was the last of a particular branch of the Mi'kmaq tribe. A branch known as they who worship the Night Howler. By Night Howler they meant Yarlathotep. Ah. How did you hear about it? What? Yeah. Neo Lapathep. Neolapathep. That's an Egyptian African god. Yes. Mm. You almost killed me. But they still worshipped it. Is this game just collecting he's all primitive cultures and lumping them into the same so thing? Do you know what? Maybe he's just as racist as we are. <laughs> well, they're all coloured. They could all be the same to me. I'm Mr. Underhouse. I'm so alone. I know it's none of my business. But may I ask what you are looking for on the map? Ethnics, Mr. Underhouse. Many, many ethnics so I can bring back home to England. Do you know this place here? It's one of my faces. That's the Stone Circle, mm. the location of the Mi'kmaq burial ground. And you say you know nothing of Indian cults? So that's where the cults were. The, the cultists were on the Stone Circle. Fucking Indian burial ground. Yes. Confirmed. Does the name Cthulhu mean anything to you. <laughs> he just burst out the wheelchair. Good oh. God, man! <laughs> Let me answer you with a question of my own. Oh, it's getting Did sexy you know now. That those who worship Nyarlathotep are rewarded with a very particular gift of teleporting immortality. and immortality. Immortality. Or where's the question? <laughs> that, that was a statement. <laughs> Just, just, just let him have this one, all right? <laughs> he hasn't had human contact in many, many years. Our names it is wise never to pronounce, and people it is wise never to meet. Go on, even say, just say the line. There are strange eons where even death may are die. Are you talking about the Hamilton family? <laughs> he just thunder outside. <laughs> ah! An ancient curse hangs over hills. No, no, not even thunder. Just rackets and roaring. <laughs> just and like, here. Of a mini, of a mini football <laughs> hooligans. <laughs> you just hear a whole lot of pitchforks being sharpened. And my curiosity cost me my legs. Oh, it was the Hamiltons that got him. The Hamiltons put him in a wheelchair. And they will never let him go home. Mm. Hence, they put him in a wheelchair on top of the stairs. <laughs> they booked him a room up uh, upstairs in the post office. That'll keep you there on the house. Dead. Dear God, there is no time to lose. Dead. My eyebrows are aroused. Moing. Moing. The containing the origin of the curse is locked inside his office safe. Okay. Now we have to break into the mayor's office. So it seems like Arlington is part. So Arlington is part of the of the cult because you saw him in the Stone Circle. The Hamiltons are there, obviously. Mm -hmm. I think um, the diary there's another fella there as well that lived. Oh yeah, the Tyler, another one, Jack Nicholson, and then a fella that lives in the the weird house on in the corner. There's no point in alerting them, is there? I can give you some information. I know the combination to the safe is made up of a number of digits. That's a start. Maybe you can tell me what the digits are. But we had no, no. It's a number of digits. Well, that's, that, that is. Yeah, it would be a pretty shit safe. If it was just one number. Or an alphabet of digits. Not. You know. Yeah, yeah, you raise a good point. When I discovered it, just before my accident, the digits had something to do with the Bible. So it's a Bible excerpt, okay? Four thirteen. <laughs> What's it? Thank you for your help. John three sixteen. Turns out she's mad at the football. You can thank me by bringing me a photo of the stone circle. That's Great. Now, now we have two people looking for sensational That's photographs. <laughs> that um, that that fat guy back in London is our spirit animal. 
Oh, Christ. Okay. Right, so we have a purpose now. And that is to break into the mayor's office. And uh, nothing bad can happen at all. Well, you say that, but I'm quite certain the, the very worst can happen. Which is? Wait for the paperwork. Oh, shit. Okay, we better bring Picard with us then. If we bring her with us as like her, our, like our mission buddy, then she can neutralize the clerk. And both of them have like this staring contest that never ends. Can you imagine how amazing that would be? I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Are you trying... Are, are you going to attend what happens when an irre irresistible object comes to contact... It's an immovable object, yes. That's exactly what I want to do, Paul. I want to break physics. Christ, dude! We're playing a Call of Cthulhu game. Don't go destroying causality just yet. Absolutely not. I intend to destroy everything with this game. If the, if the second law of thermodynamics doesn't survive this let's play, then I've done it wrong. Oh, hello. Oh, there's, shit. There's a lot of people here. Oh, you'll have to come back later. You're still at your desk, dickhead. There's a line. <laughs> People are now lining up. It's not even that, but you're... Hang on. Mr. Swing? His name is Mr. Swing. Poor bastard. <laughs> what you call... Oh, yeah, hang on. I simply want a few words with the mayor. Not possible. The mayor is not here at this time. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Swing. Sorry. That's completely emasculated him now. I don't want to bother you, but the mayor suggested I enjoy the view of Ilsmuth from this. Ah, yes. He must be a photographer. Ah. It's about the next edition of the Ilsmuth Town Hall Journal, I suppose. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for giving me a reason to be here, Mr. Swing. Uh, hold on. His assistant, for the moment. Assistant? First off, assistant. Goodbye. Well, that... We've been hushed out. We are being hushed out. <laughs> well. <laughs> that was weird. Um. Right, let's try that again. Hmm. Uh, ah, we do actually get a second later. chance at it. So we're making chain. We were making progress with the first option, or sorry, the, the last one. I simply want a few words with the mayor. Not possible. Uh huh. I don't want to bother you, but the mayor suggested I enjoy the view of Ilsmuth from this. Ah, yes. By the way, do you think it's like some sort of like waistcoat gang that has occupied the office? Hello, we are the clerks. But I'm not asking you to leave now. Or else, we'll break your legs. <laughs> I don't think... No, I, I think giving these people far too much credit. I think they'll file a, me, a, like a letter of complaint. Ooh, oh, now that would be pretty harsh in fairness. No, I'm the reporter. Well, all right. Ah, it works. Anything. Reporters. Can't leave anyone alone. We yes, lie. Yes, I... Okay, I can't believe that worked because... Oh, I... Well, I'm, just yes. glad, I'm just glad he didn't remember our first encounter. Yes, I'm here visiting the bank. I I, I just want to see the view from your vault. <laughs> from inside your vault. I hear you have a lovely panoramic on the ground. Ah, here we are. Right. Oh, we need a Bible, don't we? Shit. I know where we get a Bible. Now, obviously, now we have a... Oh, God. Do you know who, who has a Bible? Oh, she doesn't have a Bible. She kind of ate one. <laughs> she kind of ate one. <laughs> well, I say one. More like the library's worth of Bibles. <laughs> they don't need a li there's, Surely there's no need for a full library's worth of Bibles. It's a compulsion at the stage. Ah, uh, okay. Right. There is only one person I know that could have a li like have a Bible like at the ready in case any like harlots or filthy <laughs> plebeians. <laughs> yes. Oh yes, this is happening. We're gonna chat up an old lady. For her Bibles. For her Bibles. Uh, Get your Bibles out for the lads. Oh, uh, we, we just got any knowledge of the Bible. <laughs> Well, that's how you really get into this old zombies, is to Gloria, just quote, you know, Bible excerpts at her. We did that once. I, I I just shook a sick at them. We actually did, we clobbered him, someone with a head, over the head with a bat. 